What is your most strongly held political opinion? Politicians work for us and are paid by taxes. They should be forbidden from accepting money from political action groups, parties, lobbies, etc. Politicians should be public servants not corporate pawns. Companies shouldn't be allowed to fund political matters. How can we feel like an equal democracy? If we only have two parties consistently represented, politicians shouldn't receive a penny that isn't from their paycheck. D cause more problems in the long run, to counterbalance the requirement to not have alternative income politicians should be paid incredibly well. This removes the need for alternative source of income and minimizes the risk of bribes and selling out to criminals and foreign powers. Also to clarify I am talking about national level politicians, the people who are going to make or break the nation and who represent you on that national stage. I wouldn't expect these rules for more local representatives like city council members or even city mayors. That we should vote for policies, not people. Government and church should be separated. Your political affiliation shouldn't be your entire personality. People should be able to afford food, water, and shelter with one full-time job. Civil rights for all. Equal justice for all. Money. Is. Not. Speech. Citizens United is a literal cancer. Humans should not have to choose between pain death and tens hundreds of thousands of dollars in debt. The two-party system needs to end. Having only two options is the illusion of choice. The more power is distributed, the better off we are. Ranked choice voting should be the standard for democracy. Political parties were and still are a terrible idea. There's a damn good reason George Washington didn't want them. The U.S. prison system is among the most abhorrent in the world and should be regarded as one of our greatest failures as a society. The number of incarcerations decreased during the height of the pandemic, but the country still maintains the highest rate of imprisonment for 100,000 people, and by the far the highest total number of people in prison still about 20 of the global prison population. If other countries had the size and scope of a prison population that the U.S. had, I think it would be regarded as a blight on that country. But here, no. It makes too much money and people love punishment. Many comments mention how social media isn't helping this problem. Ironic given that Reddit is a good illustration of this. The dual party system is upheld by hate. It should be easier to become a legal resident of the U.S. Not necessarily a citizen, but at least in a way where you can get a job, bank account, house apartment, etc. The benefits are huge. It'll help fill the job market boost the economy with millions of people having more money to spend, increase tax revenue, and obviously, make things easier for immigrants who would otherwise have came here illegally. All health care is universal, and dental mental health care should not be exempt at it vision and hearing too, forgot to mention those. No poor kids should be hungry. My dog is the best dog. Freedom is the right of all sentient beings. Transform and roll out. Ranked choice voting is the first step towards a more perfect union. There should be no career politicians. That people are people and should be treated like people. Bring back bottom up government as it was intended. Now we have top down and the agencies that were there to protect the people with checks and balances are now captured agencies and sock puppets. Government is now just an arm of big business and the private central banks that fund them. Discrimination is shit. Voting day should be a national holiday. Once every four years doesn't seem like too much to ask for. Democracy is not perfect, but still the best there is. Corporations should not be considered a person reaping the benefits of a real person. They should not be able to contribute to political campaigns as a person. Citizens United needs to be repealed. Big business is now running this country into the ground because they hold the purse strings. My medical decisions whatever they may be are absolutely none of the government's business. From the U.S., I don't want to just be able to vote Democrat or Republican. I want real choice where every party has equal opportunity. Social media is terrible for society. Corporations should not have direct influence over politicians. The will of the voter should be the main driving factor for those in office. At this point, we need term limits. I want my gay married neighbors to protect their marijuana plants with whatever guns they want. Being pro-life or pro-choice does not make you left or right wing. What courts you think should rule on the matter is the difference between right and left. Most people don't seem to understand this. All bills should be written and voted on as single item legislation. No earmarks. No pet projects. No add ons. The crap that gets passed through by piggybacking off of other legislation is an affront to democracy. The two party system is an illusion of choice. Behind the scenes, the top people in charge of both parties are partying together and enjoying their wealth while we're down here arguing which turd sandwich is better. Eight year term limits. For all politicians. Period. 
no exceptions. Separate religion from politics. Anyone who thinks all their party's decisions are good and all the other party's decisions are bad should not talk about politics. The concept of thought crime must never be acceptable. Term age limit on government office at any level. No one pushing 55 should making decisions they won't be alive to see the long-term repercussions of. A lot of these older politicians are so out of touch, they don't realize that their policies wouldn't benefit half the people they claim to represent. If the highest office in the nation is limited to eight years, every other political office should be held to the same standard. And political lobbying. You should not be able to receive political donations and should only be allowed to make money proportional to the salary of the government office in your state. You shouldn't be in politics for the money you're a servant of the people of your state, nothing more. Congressmen and women their families shouldn't be allowed to actively trade in the stock market. So they can't get rich off decisions meant to better the people. Total political and financial transparency The complete financial records of all politicians should be 100 public. Incoming and outgoing. And with the exception of military secrets every penny the government spends should be in a public database. Transparency is important for fighting corruption. I deserve the right to my body. Nobody else, regardless of their status, has any right to me, my organs, or my health and time. Edit Please stop comparing having to wear a mask to the threat of being forced to carry out a potentially deadly pregnancy, you look pathetic. We should be using science more in our decision making edit I'm not saying we should rely solely on science, but that we should be using it more. Religion should stay away from political laws of every kind. It will just muddle shit up. People are more important than profits. Capitalism isn't necessarily a bad set of game rules, but it needs some heavy regulation to keep the greedy psychopaths in check. The Constitution created a system of checks and balance which used to work. It's been totally eliminated. This makes me angry and scared. Voting strictly on party lines impedes our progress as a society. Since parties frequently take opposite positions on major issues, individual initiatives with high public support legalization decriminalization of weed in the U.S. are less likely to be passed. Gerrymandering spits in the face of democracy and everything that makes it great. Any politician who uses or endorses its use is a piece of shit who doesn't actually care about the will of the people. U.S. national-level politics won everyone currently in office should be removed and replaced. They're all crooked. All of them, both sides. There's a few I even like, and as such I hope the door doesn't hit them too hard in the ass on their way out. Two their pay should be commensurate with median income of whatever district area they represent. Acceptable concession to this is a budget for travel, etc. For necessary expenses to perform their duties three SEC limitations on what they may trade similar to others that have access to information that can influence stock values. A friend of mine is a personal security specialist for high officials in a very major worldwide company. As such he is present for discussions of serious trade information. He is not legally allowed to buy sell stocks and options at certain times due to his access to this information. Senators governors have similar access, and even make decisions on law that have these effects, but are allowed to trade based on the info. Four term limits for Senate House. Should probably be three terms in an individual position with a maximum eight terms across all positions. So a person could be a rep for three, a senator for three, and still be president for two. Five retirement from these positions should be treated like other pensions something along the lines of 20 of average pay made from the position per term served. Currently, they get 100 for life after just one term. And last I checked, after adjustment, it's over $200,000. Or, even better would be that they get the same social security as everyone else, and should have invested in a 401k like all the peasants are told to do. Six ban corporate campaign donations outright. Currently corporations not only use them to legally bribe representatives to vote their way instead of the people's way, but then the corporations get to write the donations off of their taxes. The average salary should be enough to afford the average house. Cats are responsible for the immigration crisis in majority white countries. Tax money should go toward shit like giving homes to the homeless, feeding the hungry, giving disabled people money to live on, stuff like that. Let's help out fellow humans. Term limits on all political offices from the ground up and pay should be based off average income of the state or county they represent. Term limits on Congress and justices. I hope you all are doing well, and thanks for watching. Don't forget to like if you enjoyed this video. If you have something to say critically or otherwise, leave a comment. And if you enjoy this content, don't forget to subscribe to see more of it. I hope you all have wonderful and fulfilled lives.